Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email and actually a couple of photos. And they did a 1x square up top and then they did a 1x square at the bottom. And the 1x square is a 1x square. And the reason for that is that your drive wheels are on the top of the cup. And the outer part of the cup is spinning faster than this lower part. It's uh, that much difference. And you also said in your email that you set up your workspaces like 7x7 seven seven or whatever. Well, first of all, you couldn't run both these jobs at the same time because the focus would be different. So I don't completely understand that. And I'm not a Tumblr expert. And I'm going to send this video to Jason Ram, the Tumblr king, and let him actually put in his input. So if you watch, well, I'll, I'll get him to email me and then I'll send it your way. So when I do a tumbler, I would measure the distance from that lip right there to writable surface. And of course, this picture is way too big and it's, you know, whatever. And then center, even with a just a tape measure or a ruler, put your, and you he did send me a picture that he is running center, center. It doesn't matter what size cup you are. If you're doing something that, all I know is I use a bendable ruler, like I actually get it from IKEA, and I want I don't want the graphic or whatever to go off the edge. That's the only part I don't I care about. I don't care what size the cup is. It doesn't matter if you're doing center center, as long as you have enough room. So particularly if you were to put this isn't going to be a one inch square, but if you were to put this square on there and run it center center. And just as long as you have enough room down and bottom from top, that's all you really care about. Now, the reason this is uh, smaller is because it's traveling a lesser distance because it's a smaller wheel. So, and I'm not a mathematician, but, and, and the good thing about it, you're just getting into it. Uh, you've kind of wasted a cup, but you've got a really good cup to test on. You've got many, many sides, and, and I actually have a cup like this, a ceramic cup, that I kept engraving circles to get them round, and I've got them all over the cup, and when people use that cup for coffee, they want to take it home. They think it's so cool. So your top of my tumbler, mine is the one I'm using is an Arctic, around the drive wheel area is 12.5 inches around, but on this surface down here, it's only 8 or 9.875 around, 8 and 7 eighths. So if you take that number and divide it by that, you end up with 1.2658, kind of round it off. So here is my 1 inch square, and I've got 1 inch by 1 inch, but I need to elongate this side. And this is what's so nice about Corel. I'm going to put in the, uh, this, the time sign, 1.2658 and hit enter. I've got my ratio locked, so it's still making this one inch. So try that with your measurements and put that at the bottom and see if you don't come up with a one inch square after it's all said and done. I'm going to continue looking into this. I've got several videos on how to make an object round, and that's a little bit difficult. So when you're just starting out, if you're just doing text, text isn't a problem. Most graphics aren't a problem. It's just when you have something round, it becomes an egg shape because of the, the curvature of the cup. And it's a, some of it's an optical illusion. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.